have the test done. Oh, so that, that was freaking horrible. <laughs> that went all the way. <laughs> that was like five inches up your nose. Oh, that hurts so bad. Worth it so to bad. get a big sheep though, right? <laughs> it's debatable right now. <laughs> This sheep hunting's hard business. Ultimate Thule Outfitters has an awesome operation. You show up, kick back, relax after all your travels and get your bunk set up and then it's time to meet up with your guide and you go to their storehouse. They have prepackaged meals for your lunches and mountain house for dinner. Get all that sorted and squared away and load your pack and Get everything ready for the morning for when you fly out.
Just getting ready to leave Ultima Thule Lodge. We got the runway. We just shot our guns right there by the runway. Everybody was on. Ready to go kill a monster doll sheep. Day one, arrive at the lodge, we got settled in, got food and everything, and then went to bed and it was time to take off. And the next morning we get in the Super Cub, and holy cow, those things are awesome. Um, I took a lot of video of them, tried to really show what it's like, all the experience of it, but the Super Cub flights are about as cool as any part of the hunt. It's really neat. You're low to the ground, over amazing, just beautiful terrain. Um, pretty cool part of the hunt. Definitely one of my favorite parts of it. Here as we're flying up the glacial valley, I thought that it was like where the glacier had receded and it was just the, the devastation left behind. So I asked my pilot Lonnie what, what it was and he said that's actually glacial moraine, that's part of the glacier, that's, it's just a thin layer of rock over top of the ice and he kind of laughed as he explained it to me. He said you're going to get real familiar with it over the next couple of days. He definitely wasn't kidding. So Paul Claw is owner of Ultima Thule Outfitters and my guide Jay Stanford are swinging in for a landing there below us, getting ready to land on what looks like just a jagged, torn up chunk of dirt. It didn't look like you could land a plane there, but fortunately we had some amazing pilots and, and they got us in there to the head of the glacier. Pretty sketchy spot to land, but we did it safely and started our hunt.
We were hiking down the moraine and made it about four miles below our drop off and we seen our first group of sheep. It was six rams, one legal ram in the group. Of just a really good, beautiful full curl ram. Right at full curl, just barely makes it, but he's also eight years old, so he makes it legal both ways and really good sheep, but we just wanted something a little bit better, so we decided to pass him, but it's great start to the trip, just four miles and a couple probably two hours into our hike, so good start. came from way up there at the base of those glaciers. Here's thumbs up. On the evening of day one, we had seen that first band of rams and about four miles down, then we hiked another mile and a half. So we're actually slightly past the first band of rams and we looked another three miles down the glacier and we spot another band of rams, another, another group of six. And we can tell there's a big one in it, but we didn't know how big. So we just kept pushing and made as much ground as we could. And we got to within probably 2,500 to 3,000 yards of them in on evening one but we got to within 2500 to 3000 yards of this second group of rams and could see that there was one that was worth taking a really good look at and so we spent the evening watching and made a game plan for the morning to hopefully go in and be able to get this this great ram to make a bed. Got a little bit of dirt, but anywhere there's dirt, there's ice. Two inches below it. Everywhere else looks like this. <laughs> uh, time to set up camp. Sheep right up there, just out of sight behind the ridge. Set up camp, wait till morning, and then we'll go kill one. Got a really good ram spotted. A 
Well, it's about 5.15, morning of day two. Day one was pretty much travel and hiked about six miles, getting down this drainage to find some sheep. Uh, didn't sleep the best last night. Nothing but rock to sleep on. But we got camp and we've already got our sheep glassed up. They moved a little closer in the night, so it's looking good. Hopefully I'll have a kill shot video here in just a few minutes. A few hours, I guess. Went to bed night one, woke up, just absolutely froze. Then woke up morning of day two and same view as the night before. The sheep hadn't hardly moved there, sitting out on a wide open face right where they knew they were safe. They could see everything, every direction around them. There's no approach from the top. We were cliffed out. And so even if we killed the ram here, we, we didn't think we'd be able to get to him. So day one, hiking spotted the sheep day two or just kicked back watching giant rams sleep and eat and move around all day long So day two, after glassing all day, we had an excellent plan. We watched the rams, and just before dark, they actually stood up and wrapped around the corner out of the canyon, or off of the face of the glacier and into a side canyon where we knew we'd have a good approach. We'd be able to hunt them, and so we were optimistic for day three. Went to bed that night with high hopes, and the morning came, and we were socked in. It rained, and sleet a little bit of snow all day long just fog spent the entire day in the tent um daydreaming about all the video we had taken the day before and wishing that we could see the sheep but just stuck in the tent so day three ticked by we left the tent for a little while just to get soaked didn't see the sheep we knew they were still there but um had to go back to the tent try to dry out and went to bed that night um, optimistic for day four. Making our way to the ram. Gotta walk through that crack.
Ah, uh -huh. cliffed out. <laughs> Morning of day four, we woke up and left the tent a little while before light started the steep trip up into the canyon. The sheep had, we had last seen the sheep in before the fog and storm hit us the day before. Weather was perfect. It was a good clear morning and we're walking in and we had assumed the sheep would still be several thousand vertical feet above us. But we popped out into the first grassy pocket above camp and the sheep had came right down and were feeding already right at first light. And we ran right into them at probably 90 yards to the closest sheep, but weren't able to get a shot at the big ram. He, he was actually over the ridge. We only seen the second biggest ram and two of the small ones. We bumped them and they ran straight o straight away and up through the shell, up through the talus. And we're videoing them. Jay, we, we had to run to a little lookout point and get set up. And then Jay's trying to video. And like a good guide, he's telling me no shot. And I'm, I knew I wasn't, I wasn't going to shoot as they're all grouped up. There was no shot. And so we had to just watch them as they walked from... 550 yards all the way out to past a thousand and fortunately they they turned and looped back and came above us and and gave us another chance but unfortunately as the way it worked out they they popped out it was too fast of a window to get the shot and we weren't able to get the kill shot on film but at least we got this this video of the rams as they're working up away from us just before the shot Utah legs ran up there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he yeah, he is. His body's hosed. I, I've got a, if, he's, if he's trash, I've got a case. Nice. Trash, so well, we just I jumped see. the sheep off this ridge. They ran up here around that knob. Started coming back across the talus way up there in the snow. We shot him right there. And you can kind of see this diagonal crack. He fell the whole way down it. And just bounced and bounced and bounced. Must be a little cut in there he got in just brought him to the bottom. And right there he is. Right in the kind of the center center of the screen, little white dot right in there. I don't know if we <laughs> Jay Stanford, the illustrious We got him. <laughs> best guide in Alaska. Yeah. We, right we got him. Here, but we Well, we woke up this morning and we're camped down here off this. There's a sharp drop off leads down in the moraine down there. We're camped just up out of it. We walked this grass ridge around this pole. We got to right here where we're at and the sheep had came down to camp. They were getting a drink, I think, down here in this grass. And they spooked and went up this ridge. You can see the far big lowest rock up there. They went around it and up that far talus slope. Came up here on this this cliff and he paused gave us a shot clear up in the high cliffs and took a shot we killed him and then he rolled all the way down off the face of it we're hoping he's not too banged up but <laughs> he came all the way at least we don't gotta go get him <laughs> but he's up there in the talus or we dropped our packs here so we had to come back down from where we shot and pick him up and we're gonna go look at Well, this is the trough my ram came shooting down. It came clear at the top, down kind of the left. 
Jodge back to the right down the bottom. And you see his leg right there. I'm gonna go take a look at him. Good job, man. Glad he's here and not up top. Yeah, me too. Oh, you think he's is he on there or is he good on the other side? It looks good, yeah. Oh. I mean, we're good. We're gonna take some pictures of him before we move him. In the video of picking him up. Hey, that gorgeous ram. Oh, so he's way heavier right here than I expected. <laughs> well, uh, Congratulations, hey. man. Thanks, Jay. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. Yeah, we'll get him a little better cleaned up and take some pictures. He's kind of doing the Mangle. doing a little yoga right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. That's awesome. Dream come true. Right on. He he was up there, so we're a little lucky he came down. That's a heck of a first sheep, Jay. It's an amazing first sheep. Amazing sheep. Period. But uh, pretty lucky. Be blessed. Awesome. I'll get him clean. I don't know what to say, we're up here hunting doll sheep and I just killed the ram of a lifetime. Absolute dream sheep, it's everything I'd hoped for and it's a monster. Jay worked his butt off for me and we hiked clear back in here and found him and pretty tickled, it's crazy. Never really thought I'd get to come hunt doll sheep and got to and killed the giant. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty lucky. All we needed was some weather to clear, huh? Yep, we got rained in for one day and we were forced to just sit there knowing he was up in here. We didn't get a look at him yesterday, but we're patient, hung out at the tent and worked in this morning when the weather cleared. It was a little overcast this morning, but it cleared up to be a beautiful day now. And we got in here and they, they surprised us down low, but we luckily were able to get on him and, and get him. He took a bit of a fall, he's a little banged up, but we got him. Pretty awesome. Yeah, worth shiving our butts off yesterday yeah. for? <laughs> well, it was worth sitting on. Yesterday I was pretty miserable. <laughs> uh, we were both for We got soaked and it was all worth it. This is incredible. Can't believe it. Nine year old ram. Big, way past full curl and just as perfect as they come. Yeah, Thanks, pre Jay. Pretty awesome sheep. Congratulations, Jace. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to have a Fun walk out of here, but it'll be a victory walk, that's for sure. Heavy packs, victory walk though. Yeah, that's a little different than desert sheep hunting, huh? A little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> a lot colder, mostly. Uh, oh, congratulations. We'll get some good pictures of them and we'll get them loaded up. Yep, again. Like getting them early in the morning, though. Yeah, all day, perfect day, and all day to take care of him and get back to camp, get it packed up. So. Yeah, and we'll, we got seven days to get out of here. Might. Hopefully it won't take that long. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't take all seven, but, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. That's a long jaunt. And congratulations. That's
of him, where he fell from. Hiking out with our big old ram. <laughs> Hell of a deal. <laughs> uh, pretty good hailstorm. I think we got it just in time. <laughs> I'd say. Got him dead and getting off the mountain. <laughs> Still stacking up. About three quarters of the way back to camp. Uh, clear up about as high as you can see up there is where we killed him. <laughs> it's time to put on a coat. <laughs> so the last little drop to camp. Huh. It's pretty steep. Just washed our ram off. Jay fleshed him pretty good. Getting him all cleaned up, ready for the trip home, and then got camp. Oh yeah, my hands are covered in fat. <laughs> Farthest up ridge is where we got him. You can barely see. After a little hail storm, it's starting to clear off again. Hopefully we got a pretty nice day. It'd be nice to dry some gear out. We're all soaked. It's, everything we've got's wet. Since there's no wood to burn in an area like this, on the face of Mars, we're getting ready to cook some doll sheep over an open stove. <laughs> Grill masters. <laughs> Grill masters. Jay's cooking class. <laughs> Dinner and a view. Can't beat it. If you're looking to expand your culinary abilities, <laughs> you gotta talk to Jay, cause that is delicious. Doll sheep meat on the mountain. Fresh killed, just a few hours old.
Well, we got dropped off. We flew up this valley and got dropped off up at the head, right at the base of that upper glacier. Worked our way down around that first red point, kind of into the canyon around. Killed my ram about halfway between us and the glacier, a little closer to us here. And we're working our way out the bottom of the canyon. Gonna wrap around this point that we're coming up to. And we'll get picked up down there, kind of an A to B hunt. Pretty cool country. Just around the corner there. Finally down to our last bit of rocky, sucky hiking. Almost to the mouth. Came from clear back in there at that glacier. Last steep pull out of the glacier. <laughs> a couple miles on an easy grass slope and I'll be out of here. We're waiting at the end of the runway. We got our rides coming in hot. You guys aren't ready yet. <laughs> that one's a little bouncy.